There's a number of mistakes that are common in shelters that can lead to problems, especially big infectious disease outbreaks that can be life-threatening for large numbers of animals in the shelter. Currently in the southeast, we're really struggling with distemper outbreaks in dogs, and there are some common themes that we see when we visit shelters to help them deal with these outbreaks. One is some shelters still are not vaccinating all animals immediately on admission to the shelter. We know that it is a costly process to vaccinate animals, but it is one of the best investments that can be made. I think in the belief that they're going to save money, uh, many shelters don't vaccinate all animals on entry. And if you're talking about an outbreak, which is often a disaster in the shelter, um, you want to get animals vaccinated as soon as they come through the door. I know that in some cases where shelters have high euthanasia rates, they feel like if they vaccinate an animal and then have to euthanize it, they've lost that resource. What we're trying to achieve with this widespread vaccination of every animal is what we call herd immunity, a population immunity, so that if an animal does come in that's shedding infection, the protection of the entire group will help prevent it from spreading through the shelter. You want your herd immunity to be as high as it possibly can be. And even though some of those animals may need to be euthanized, um, they will help protect the other animals in the shelter from disease. We understand that few shelters have adequate resources to optimally perform all of the many duties that they have, but cutting back on vaccines to make that kind of cost compromise is not an area that we recommend. One component of the staff training and making a very strong staff training program is to ensure that the staff understand the importance of using the tools that they have at their disposal well. And for example, um, vaccinations should not be allowed to sit out of the refrigerator on the counter for long periods of time. These vaccines have in them a live component, and many staff members fa fail to understand that by sitting out uh, on the table or out on the counter, that um, they the very active ingredient in the vaccines actually can die. When we were in veterinary school, we often learned that vaccines took several weeks to work, but there's research now that shows that they start working within hours of administration. So giving a vaccine when the animal first walks through the door can literally save its life. And so our recommendations are that every animal be vaccinated immediately on admission, even if it's aggressive, and even if there's a thought that it probably won't be adopted in a few days. Woo-woo-woo! <laughs>